When I first learned how to iron my clothes, I was often annoyed when the iron switched on and off of its own accord. I soon realized that it was the automatic power cut function that caused this to happen. You have likely observed this automatic on-off function on electric irons, but do you know how it works? It is the thermostat inside the iron that silently tracks the temperature and can turn the power on and off with the help of various other electric components. It is probably the most important component in the iron, as it helps to regulate the temperature. Thermostats are not only found in irons, but also in air conditioners, water coolers, automatic temperature control systems, and many other devices that require strict temperature regulation. The basic function of a thermostat is to keep the heat constant in a given environment. But many people confuse a thermostat with a thermometer, or use the words interchangeably. A thermometer is a device that measures temperature, while a thermostat is a device that maintains or regulates temperature. The electric irons that we use to press the folds out of our clothes contain a thermostat that keeps the iron from getting too hot when turned on and left unattended. An iron relies on a basic combination of heat and pressure to remove wrinkles from clothing, and a thermostat helps keep the device's temperature in a safe range. If an electric current is passed through a coil or other heating element that is present in the iron, it becomes very hot. This heat is then transferred to the base plate, that smooth, flat surface that you place against the clothes while ironing. And there, through conduction, it efficiently irons your clothes. However, as the iron continuously draws electricity from the power supply, the heating element gets hotter and hotter. This wastes energy, as an iron consumes a lot of electricity in just a few minutes. It can also ruin clothes, and may even cause dangerous accidents. Therefore, it is essential that an iron does not heat up to dangerous temperatures, which is where a thermostat comes into play. The thermostat in an iron generally uses a bimetallic strip. As the name implies, a bimetallic strip consists of two different types of metal, with different coefficients of expansion, that are bonded together. In the presence of heat, they expand differently. This bimetallic strip is connected to a contact spring by small pins. At moderate temperatures, contact point remains in physical contact with the bimetallic band. However, if the temperature of the iron exceeds a certain limit, the strip begins to bend toward the metal with a lower coefficient of expansion. As a result, the strip physically separates from the contact point, the circuit opens, and the current stops. Without the flowing current, the temperature of the iron decreases, the band regains its original shape, and the current begins to flow again. Thus, a bimetallic band functions as a bridge to connect or switch off the circuit to regulate the heating. This cyclical switching is why the iron seems to turn on and off repeatedly during the ironing process. While this may be irritating at times, it certainly helps to keep us safe. <laughs>